doing a PPF install here on this Rebel. I've uh, got the pillars done, mirrors and mat, and above the, the windshield so far. Um, got the hood prepped, clay butter all called. And I'm just doing these little fender pieces here. Uh, here's the line right there. It's hard to see. But anyways, yeah, I've done from here, this kind of piece here. And then I'm going to do the other side, and then I'll do the hood to match it to that edge here. And um, right now, do the opposite piece, this fender here. I'll show you how I do that right now. So usually I use a roll and I'll cut it myself. I'll try to make a tire and masking tape, whatever, maybe use marker and the, and the piece of uh, PPF before I install it. But um, this customer wanted to do a pre-cut kit. I don't really care. It works out. It's easier for me. Still make the same amount of money, whatever. Anyways, so um, it's pre-cut for that. So I clay bar it. Uh, I'll call it. I spoke by alcohol. And then um, it's ready to install. It, it came with... Um, Pretty cool. I never used this before. Uh, where is it? Came with a gel alcohol. So it's a gel alcohol mixed with water, and you can use it as a slip solution and it tacks a little better instead of the uh, general soap and water that everyone usually uses. But um, I've been using the mix both. Now, this one I want more tack, and then uh, it is like there is the alcohol that you can use for high tack. This still does let you slide it around, but then once you squeegee it, it tacks better than the regular soapy stuff. All right, so I'm gonna use the gel for this piece. Just it's kind of small. It doesn't need to be stretched by itself. So far, I'm pretty happy with this kit. Some of them, they don't fit very good. You work a lot to make it fit, right? This is pretty good. You want to spray the truck as well as your piece of PPF. You want to soak it real good. You don't mess a spot. It'll get the glue lines and you'll see where you didn't put, put your mixture, whatever you're using. Before I start tacking down, you want to get in position right. Let's start with this front edge here, this pointy part. You want to try to make sure it's not grabbing you anywhere like it was just there. You want to stray. Film so your squeegee slides on it, doesn't grab and stretch it and pull it in the water. Back this corner, and then I am going to do a stretch on it. Get rid of all the junk right there. I don't want to go too far. Let's see. Probably oh, can't see, but the PPF is back from this edge a bit, so I need to stretch it down. Not too much, but it goes around that corner. So I'm going to kind of work my way. Let's see it a little bit. Let me walk to it this way. I also want to meet this fender even with some strips of that at the same time. Thinner the PPF than uh, my roll and most stuff I use, but so big thumb needs it should still be good, should still do its job. Alright, 
So now I'm on the headpiece. I'll, um, I'll move the camera for you to get a bit better view. Yeah, this is a, if he wants everything done, he wants the uh, door guards inside the door, door sill area. He wants his headlights done, this piece, fog lights. Both mirrors, and yeah, yada yada yada. Bit of water there. Alright, so I'm ready to start the hood piece. Not going to use the gel on this one because it's a big piece and uh, I don't want to start grabbing before I'm ready to take it back down. Let's soak it in. The same in the piece. Alright. Position here. All right. And you have to start down and stretching. So. Alright, so the camera turned off there, running out of storage, but uh, starting to get it. It's been a little tough. It's not as nice to cut as the rest of the pieces. Gotta work a lot to make it fit right. I think one half turtle done now.
Gel definitely seems to help, but it isn't going to shoot anything. Yep, that came out pretty good. Pissed me off at one point, but it turned out great. I've already used up the spots here. Good. Right now, I'm just making sure that all the water's out. If you look at certain angles, you'll see spots where there's still a bit of water. I think you got it now. Okay, I skipped a bit, but I got the hood done. I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit. I'm going to finish around the edge. And I got, I really can't remember where I left off, but I got all the corner pieces. I got these pieces done. I got the fog lights done. And, uh, yeah, both sides. It all turned out pretty good. You really wouldn't even know. Too, to see they could have been a little bigger but still work pretty good so right now I'm gonna do the headlights and uh, I just have after that little fender flare pieces and uh, inside the doors here these I'm gonna make myself cut them about there to the same on the other side before it starts curving up there All right, so I'm going to do this here headlight. I actually just tried it, but it didn't stick at all. I'm not sure what's going on. This is a PPF I usually use. I don't think the glue's gone bad on it. I haven't used it in a while. This time I'm just using a um, gel. I'll call it gel. So, um, 
do this flat tire to make sure it's been locked in in this stick to the other corner. Oops. Cut off that bottom there because that's going to stop it from stretching. Thank you. 